respawn. Okay, just give this part. Okay, what is up guys, MYY Bro 2005 here, and welcome to MLB The Show. Right now I'm just gonna play Road to the Show. Okay. Okay. Texas Ranger jersey home. Cool. Shit, Tim Peterson. Whatever that is. Um, fine. Gregory Fonte. And then this one. Uh, that's all. I can't believe that's all they give us. They don't even give us any good players. The only give, oh, the only good player they ever gave us was Cody Bellinger, or is it? I think it was Corey Seager. I think. I'm just gonna play as my Pirates pitcher. Chris, if you're watching this, I I bet you're happy that my my player is on the Pirates. I was about to like see if I could change the camera from there. Uh, never mind. Okay. I was just talking to my mom. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> now let's play ball. Hmm. We have a better record than them. I wonder if it shows the standings. Shows continuing. So striding There's forward now, Cliff Finney, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Well, he's ready. Here's the first offering. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. Dan Dero, we take a look at our home nine as they take the field here today. They come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped. Mm. You know, I like. I mean, I'm having a little bit of a tough time, like...
Sure. Sorry guys, I was talking to you Okay, like, okay, sinker. Okay, let's try sinker. Get this short. Sure. Nope, but at least it's brown it. now. And there's one gun to start the night. And Chris, I bet you're happy that the Pirates drafted the a good pitcher. Yeah. Yeah. Bunty, yeah. as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitches. Bases well, are empty, one man out. Left-handed hitters, even though I'm a, despite the fact that I'm a right-handed Couldn't wait back, a swing and a miss. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. It's the depth of his sinker. Sometimes it's a matter of whether or not it's moving east-west. Wow, east that was fast. That 96 right there miles such per good hour. Downward action. And he strikes out. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Jeff Bunty goes down for out number two in the top half. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three-pitch strikeout. And with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Stepping in now, Donovan Sanchez. No balls and a strike to count. Okay. Set to deliver the 0-1. Another sinker. Way out oh, in front. I have a pretty good sinker. Some guys have no trouble hitting with fall, two strikes, and some guys never want to get there. The Let's sinker. see the approach right here. I'd like to see him shorten up a little bit, maybe now, choke up and try and work the ball back up the middle the other way. It's going to be a pop sure. now. He's there, and the side is retired. Leading off the inning, Enrique Castillo, and they'll need him to get something going here. Into the corner and slicing foul. Oh. Thank God. Thank God that wasn't a home run. I need to keep my team lead alive. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. Struck him out. And now I strike him out. All right, here's how the home side's lining up ball. defensively. And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, they're in the top five. Fewest errors in the league. Flash in the leather, pick and the and guy that's picking Keep an eye on them. is they play stout defense. this guy, which is me. Into the box now, Shane Navarro, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Navarro. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. What a well-executed pitch right there. Just a little bit off the corner right there. Got a great hitter. Bit outside his line. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step uh, on my first for the out. Really do that good against right-handed. Right-handers. Digging it in. Does better against Stapleton. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. Fastball too high to start him out here. One and oh. A ball and a strike now. Bases are empty here with two men out. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Hey, back when I first broke into the big leagues, a lot of the pitchers wanted to work east to west. Got him looking, and, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So they go down without a whimper here. On now to the bottom of the second. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, my friend Chris, he's a Pirates fan. Stepping in, David Samble. He'll lead things off here doing in this that one good run contest. Aren't doing that good right Andrew now, so. Sample. So First pitch of the at I, bat I feel on its kind way. Of bad for him. I and that one just missed he outside. I have to feel bad, or else, like. Pulled toward right center field. Osuna moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Oh, crap. Stepping into the box, oh, Gerald McCord. He had a oh, couple wait, of hits in yesterday's hit contest. Base hit. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Let's try the sinker. That tricks a lot of left-handers. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. See? The my lineup top my to bottom looks like really they have no approach or game plan hand whatsoever. Hand it's like they're deciding to swing before the pitch is even coming out of the pitcher's hand. Bounces.
bouncer up the middle. That's oh, a base hit, their first of the game. It's all because it's all the field. You don't see so that much. too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line the it, drive jerking. the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two strike go. adjustment, to able to punch a ground ball through a hole. Oh, no. David Reynolds is at the plate as he I looks guess. at ball one. Swung on and missed, one and one. Hey, I'm a little shocked right there. Double play situation, he doesn't go with the sinker. He goes with the ordinary fastball in that situation. Chu is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Digging in, Cliff Finney. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First delivery to him on the way. Wouldn't bite on a good sinker that time that missed. McCord leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. My slider's really good against right hand. Start of that swing a bit too well, early. Only if I throw the sinker up, then the hitters start to swing at it. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. One hit, one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Altoona's out in front. Leading off the inning, Jeff Bunty, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. Uh, it's one and all. It was kind of a bit outside. Slider. Okay. In for a strike. It's one and one. Hmm. That was a good pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Still have Beautiful one pitch. Run. Even if we had robot wow. arms, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. And Swung out and missed, like it's 0-1. I'm you know, we saw these guys around the cage like during batting practice, and they told plus, us they were going to be aggressive. I think plus, this is getting uh, really you're ridiculous. You're they better watch zero themselves because they don't start putting my ball in the gas. This guy's going to find himself in the eighth inning cruising. High in the air at the center field. Chu is there. Oh, oh, oh. Makes Thank the play, God. and there are two gone now. Thank God that wasn't a home run. At the plate, Enrique Castillo. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. The wind up and the 0 1. Missed with a slider. Two out, nobody on. Fly ball out toward left center field. Eames on the move. He I'm always gets looking there to away, make the catch and that ends strike the inning. Out but so nothing happening doesn't work. Ooh, and now coming to the plate now, Shane Navarro. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going, and the last thing you want to do is fall behind, where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. Pretty unusual that you see a 5-0 hitter take two strikes in a row. Typically, those are some of the most aggressive batters in the lineup. The 0-2 once more. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Into the box now, Barney Stapleton. He got called out on strikes his last time through. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Eames sprinting after it. He makes the running play. Two down. It's always close to a home run. Ready for another chance? David Samble. He flew out in his last at bat. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. Hey, he's close to having another quick inning right there with two quick outs. He's been very economical with his pitches, and if he continues to go like this, the bullpen might get a day off. Behind 0-2 now. Let's 
see if my sinker will work. The next 0-2. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. The next 0-2 is taken. That's ball one. Come on. Late making contact on that swing, and we'll do it again on one and two. Batter's going to have to find a way to regroup right there. That caught too much of the plate. He knew it. He missed it. He might not get another opportunity to put the ball in play. Swing and a little tapper. That's oh, foul, so the battle will continue. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he struck him out. Oh, seven the strikeout game, finally. And that ends the inning. So a strong start on the mound as he's blanked him through the first five. Last half of the fifth coming up. The curve lead it six to nothing. In now, Gerald McCord will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that. Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight oh, now. I can't in the believe he actually game. fell for that. Now to the plate, David Reynolds. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Hey, I never want to take an offense's aggression away. But they've been swinging at a lot of pitches early in the count. Find themselves down. I think they need to regroup, have a meeting in the dugout, and figure out a way to maybe look at some pitches. The 1-1 home. Hit down the third baseline. Yoshida fields it cleanly. And that's the second out. Ready for another shot now. Cliff Penang. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Penang. Takes a high fastball for a strike. I think he's pitched better than anyone really expected in this one. He's done a real nice job, but someone's going to make him pay if he puts too many more pitches in that location. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. The discipline has just been completely absent from this offense. A swing and a miss. There you go, yeah. Side and that will do it. So another good inning nice. for him on the mound. Nice pitcher has a really good slider. Shutout innings now. 9-1-2 and two, scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Altoona's out in front. Six to nothing. Leading off the inning, Jeff Bunty, and they'll need him to get something going here. Now here's the pitch. Bunty. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And it's fouled away. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Into the box now, Donovan Sanchez. As he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Fouled away. Okay. Ooh, sinker. I 
thought that would work. Maybe this sort of sinker would work. Down in the zone. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. In now, Enrique Castillo. Enrique. And so take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more Sunday Night Baseball following this. Stepping in, Shane Navarro, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. I don't know if this is great deception by the pitcher, great arm action, or just bad offensive approach. They got to find a way to get something in the zone. Somebody's got to be willing to take a pitch, maybe move something the other way to kind of calibrate what the strike zone is going to be. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Now a little pop-up off toward the first base side. Oh. And no one will get this one. I do need a move. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. 2-2 two -two pitch just missed. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. The first, Nava has it, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Skipper out of the dugout, making the slow trek to the mound. And he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So he was able to only get that first out in the eighth, but nonetheless, he'll depart with the lead. Oh, yeah. Cut my hat off to the fans. Tyler Glasno gets the call as he'll pitch with one gun in the top of the eighth. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. A 6-0 shutout to finish off tonight's game. The curve jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Dion Champ with his fourth win this season as he allows oh, yeah. just one hit through his seven-plus innings of work. Yoannis Whitfield permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. Our final line score... A minor leaguer is assigned temporarily to a new role. Always looking to fill needs, clubs will explore every way a prospect might be capable of contributing.
but I guess I'll try as a flavor reliever. So we're in third. Dion Champ takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Striding in once again, Jamie Francisco earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. And now I'm in the bullpen for now. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. But that is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. And the 0-2 here is fought off at the plate, and we'll do it again. How am I getting tired already? I'm a reliever. And a good hard slider as this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth. When your closer comes in and strikes out the first guy he faces, Everyone on the team can kind of take a deep breath. Still have two more outs to get, but retiring that leadoff guy is always huge when you're trying to shut a game down. First pitch of the at-bat. 0-1 oh, the count. One-run game here in the top of the ninth. Hmm. 0-2 home. And he strikes him out as well. Nice so make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. No two hitters, Are two they just strikeouts me in the from the closer. So I won't There's not a whole lot more he can all do three to still confidence that anymore? he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Evan. Mm -hmm. Standing in now, Evan Maldonado. So chase one up around the letters here for strike one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth oh, yeah. to be the difference, Keep though. And a good going. job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Altoona curve came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure oh, the yeah. victory. Patrick oh, yeah. Lemon claims the win out of the oh, pen, yeah. his first. Dion Champ closes the door for the save, his first of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Baskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. That's my first save of the year. Our final line score. Dion Champ comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. At the plate, Thomas Rodriguez. He singled his last time up. Here comes the first pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Behind 0-2 now. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh. And the throw is wide Come on. as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Next will be the designated hitter, Juan Diaz. He'll be looking for something he could gap and drive home that time run from first. And he can't pick it up. That ought to go down as an infield single. So striding in, Fernando Rocha, as he'll look to bring home that time run from second to the outfield. A scoop with the bare hand. He's out. Oh, and that looked destined to be an RBI, but a highlight reel stab put an end to that thought.
Striding in, Derek Braun. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. And this is swung on and missed, so they come right after him, and it remains second and third, but with two away now. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to say it. Not a lot of good scoring opportunities, and when they've had them, like right now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Either you lose or... Sinker, one ball, one strike. No doubt, some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult task. And he brings it in, and they come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A one nothing game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitch awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. The Altoona Curve took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Damian Gillespie. Wow, one to nothing game. Wow. Does it show like wild card or anything? Uh, it looks like it doesn't. bottom of the ninth so this is just my last game for today and then I'll end the video I'm gonna close it out Dion Champ takes the ball now in inning number nine looking to close the door Dion Champ digging in Edgar Mortero he got on top of one it was a ground out victim last time Popped him up. Ramirez moving to his left. He's got it one away. The reading fighting fills. That's it. That's a double A team owned by the Philadelphia Phillies. We'll get the call here as he hit for the pitcher. Just a tick behind for a strike. One out, nobody on. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. I know he's down in the count right now, and it's not looking good, but he's been swinging the bat so well lately, I don't think he minds this one bit. And this is fouled at the plate. 
Now another 0-2. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Uh-oh. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Peter Conforti, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Here we go. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this what a one way is to over. End the game. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. A four to one finish in this evening's game. The curve wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Derek Price earns win number four on the season. Dion Champ earns the save out of the bullpen, his third oh, yeah. of the campaign. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. My third save this season. Oh, well, I guess that's it, so, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Give this video a big like if you like to smash the like button. After that bell, get, get notifications, subscribe to the channel as always, and, I see, and I'll see you in the next video. See you guys.